When you first visit our mind country, I don't expect you to know the language. So there are groups of people online. Some may mistakenly refer to them as cult-like, when they all sort of follow the same sort of ethos. Um, and they use the same terminology, like a community, like a culture. It's been formed. Cult, culture, I mean, maybe the term could stick. But I call it here a mind country. Um, so this is actually a sort of, notably when I'm watching um, Coffee with Scott Adams, he's on YouTube, Real Coffee with Scott Adams. Um, a lot of the terms that he uses, a lot of the framing that he uses, those that don't watch his material won't really as easily, unless they understand persuasion or they've followed um, communities that deal with uh, self-help and things like that um, in psychology. They won't know what the terms are, so that you're walking into something where you don't know the context, you don't know really what's going on exactly. You're just seeing a lot of people, and it kind of it's like, well, everyone's using the same terminology. Oh, it must be a cult. Oh my God, it's a mind country. It's a, a certain group of people that have fallen into this kind of mindset where they're comfortable. You could call it an echo chamber if you'd like, but it doesn't mean that the people in there are like stuck in that like sort of mind country, that headspace. They might actually be involved in a quite wide range of communities, but they of course take this, um, this culture from their home mind country, or one of their mind countries that they're a citizen of. Perhaps they have dual citizenship. I don't know. I haven't thought that part through. But, um, when you first visit our mind country, I don't expect you to know the language. So you kind of have to spend a little more time than just seeing one person's tweet or one person's article or post, or just one excerpt from their book or one video, before you can make a full assessment on what they're all about and what what their views might be and what their how they would handle different situations that you've conjured up uh, for them to look at. So, yeah, spend some time in a mind country before you start judging the people there. And definitely ask questions. Um, but again, I don't recommend answering them yourself, uh, although that will give people uh, a launching pad for their responses.